I want to show you guys how I set my Toyota Tacoma roof rack up to be the ultimate overland roof rack. This is set up for me and my fiance to live out of. I'm going to start by showing you guys what's on the driver's side here. This is a typical awning. I got this on Amazon for about $100. I'm going to pull it out for you. It takes about five minutes to set up. There it is, the awning fully out and extended. I uh, kind of messed up a little bit now on that little time lapse there. I guess I don't know if I was a little bit worried about having the camera running while set up. It's usually easier than that. The problem was I had the tent stake for the window in the way. Super annoying. I was trying to make it look all aesthetic, whatever. This is it up, pretty awesome. Only about $100 on Amazon. I'm a big fan of this awning. Moving forward onto the roof rack here. If you look up here, this is the Weekender from Waterport. It is eight gallons of pressurized water that self-pressurizes if you fill it up with a hose. I'm a big fan of this thing. It is a little pricey. I bet you could build it DIY, but I'm a little lazy. I've already done enough DIY on this. So I figured I would just buy this, bought it outright, and it's worked exactly how I anticipated it to work. It gets hot with the sun, and it's enough water for Ashley and I to shower for about seven days. For example, we've been out right now for seven days without having to fill that up. And we've had enough water to shower about eight times at this part. Now, when we shower, we aren't sitting there with the water running the entire time. We're showering by getting wet, then soaping, and then washing it off, and then kind of like that. So it's not like a constant shower, but just being able to have a warm shower that's pressurized up there is a game changer when you're out on the road like this. Then I guess I can tell you guys about my light bar. This is a last fit light bar. They sent this out to me. I've been using it for a few months now. Very bright, works fantastic out on the trails. We actually just had an issue with water getting into it. Got a hold of them. They gave me steps to drain that water out and I haven't had water in there since and it looks pretty awesome. So big fan of this light bar. It's a combo spot and flood lens. Works fantastic when we're out on the trail. Big fan of that. Coming up here even further here, this is the 23-0 rugged case. Now, a lot of people wonder why I didn't get a Rome. Well, the one I wanted from Rome, the 98 liter that I originally wanted was out of stock and it was pretty pricey. I found this guy, bought it right away, and this is a little bit bigger. This is 102 liters and it was the color I wanted and it fit up there perfectly. And the way I have it bolted up there is I just drilled holes through the bottom of that case, ran carriage bolts up to the top of it and put a nut on it and it's held up very well. I've had no issues with that box ripping or anything like that. Now the reason why I have this case mounted on my roof here is for dry storage. It stays dust proof and watertight so I don't have to worry about our clothes getting wet or dirty. This has worked fantastic. I have no issues with this so far. The seals held up great. Our clothes, our clean clothes stay up here and I have had no water get in no dust get in. I'm very impressed with this case. It also has a bottle opener right here. So if you don't have one, you just pop a top right there. Big fan of this case. It's got these struts that hold it open, which works great when I'm trying to pick my clothes out. All in all, it's a pricey case and I didn't really want to pay the money for it, but uh, it's held up great and I, I, I'm very happy with this. We wouldn't be able to hold all of our clothes that we need without this case. On top of this case, I mounted a 100 watt solar panel. You can check that video out right here. I went in depth to showing how that happened and how I did that. It's been working fantastic, keeping my battery box charged up just enough to make sure I don't run out of power. Usually ends up putting in more power to my power box than what my fridge is taking out. So 100 watts, the fridge usually uses 40 watts to 60 watts when it's running. It actually works fantastic with keeping that evenly charged throughout the day. Really awesome plan, and the case has been holding up really well with having that mounted on the top as well. And finishing up on this side, on the passenger side here, this is the kick-ass shower awning. Here's a clip of me using this. Show this off a little bit more on this side. This is the shower here that's attached to the roof rack. Come in here, check it out. I got my hose set up right here that's connected to the water tank on the roof rack as well, and it gets heated with hot sunlight or sunlight i guess and i'm gonna go ahead and take a shower right now since i'm in here 
and it's warm. Pretty nice. It's got a little soap holder right here on both sides. It's roomy. I hold my towels right here. It's actually a pretty awesome setup for showering. Or you could put a little bathroom in here. We have a portable toilet that's sometimes placed in here as well. And there's my soap that I requested. So now that my shower is done, I can stand up here on the side step, step up. The box is already open and I can grab some clean clothes just like that. And then I can change down in there. But this thing has been a game changer. Being able to change and have a little bit of privacy when you're out here is fantastic. We have a rooftop tent we spend most of our time in and we can't really stand up and change there. So it's awesome to be able to come in here and change. Not to mention the fact that we can now shower and I have a portable toilet I put in there when we're out and be able to use the bathroom. It is honestly a game changer for a couple, I think it was like $150 for this, but it's, I, we use it all the time. I know a lot of people think it's an overlander thing, but like I said, we are living out of this truck full time. So having this luxury makes it livable. I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to put this thing away. It, it, again, just like the awning, takes about five minutes to set up and five minutes to put away. And that's a wrap guys, it is put away. Not even five minutes. I kind of give that a rough estimate because I'm, I'm a little bit chubby, I'm a little bit lazy, I'm a little bit slow. So I give a five minute estimate. That took me about a minute. Now to tell you guys about the roof rack itself. This is the Hook Road roof rack. Honestly, this roof rack is blowing me away. When I originally got it, I was a little bit nervous because it is a budget roof rack coming in around $400. And that's a budget if you compare it to some of the other ones coming in around $1,000, $700. I was a little bit nervous about long-term use of this but I have installed this. I did a full video here going over it. I had a little bit of issues dealing with the fitment, but that's kind of common when you're looking at this low of a budget. If that's the only downside I've had on this was having to trim a little piece of it to fit the antenna in there. But I've stacked a ton of stuff on this roof rack to this point. I've driven thousands of miles with this roof rack on with all the stuff on it. It's held up fantastic. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm really blown away about how well this roof rack's been holding up. And that's about all I have to say about my roof rack on my Toyota Tacoma. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you run a roof rack on your truck, if you have it decked out like I have it decked out, if you're just running the roof rack to run a light bar, let me know. I love hearing how you guys have your truck set up in the comments. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button. It means a ton to me. We're on the road to 10,000. We're almost there, guys. Do me a big favor. Check this video out right here. It's pretty good. And I'll see you in the next one.